Hi, this is Roger from Kanka Labs, and in our today's M show, which stands for what every maker should have one, it's about uh, getting the enamel off from enameled copper wire or magnet wire. And well, there are basically two methods. You can use your soldering iron or you can use this uh, neat little uh, stripping tool from Knipex or Knipex, however you want to call them. Um, let's first take a look at, well, let's say thin or flexible um, copper wire, um, which I would say is uh, in the range from 0.05 millimeters to 0.2 or 0.3 millimeters. Well, um, in, today, uh, the coating of uh, magnet wire is no longer truly enamel. Um, it's in fact a lacquer and usually it's polyurethane or difficult to pronounce for a German. Um, and this PU uh, coating has the advantage um, that it can be simply dissolved or evaporated um, with a soldering iron. I'll try to demonstrate this, but I'm not sure if it really shows very good and is really working here in front of the camera. You should heat up your soldering iron to around 400 degrees Celsius because that's around the temperature where the uh, coating uh, evaporates or dissolves and you should take a broad chisel tip and place a, a large blob of um, solder onto it and when you move um, the enameled wire through the uh, copper blob then um, the coating will dissolve. Perhaps you can see that here the uh, first uh, few millimeters are now blank or in fact they are coated with tin. Um, so uh, that is the way you can if you want to uh, get the coating off from thin um, magnet wire. I'm using the word magnet wire and enameled copper wire here interchangeable because it's uh, as far as I know it's the same. But what do you do if you have uh, enameled copper wire of this thickness which is around uh, a millimeter thick then the method with the uh, soldering iron won't work anymore. We can try it and see what we can reach with the what we can get with 400 degrees now and you see nearly nothing happens uh, perhaps if I go up to 450 degrees but uh, you need on the one side um, a lot of solder to, to do anything and uh, uh, copper is just the best, uh, after silver, it's the best heat transmitter. So the heat from the soldering uh, tip, uh, from the soldering iron, the heat is uh, simply too quickly um, dissipated in the rest of the wire, which already becomes quite hot. And so there is really no good way to get the coating off from thick enameled wire. And for that purpose, there is a really good tool, this Knipex uh, stripping tool. Uh, it has, um, well, two teethed uh, blades, or however you want to call them. Perhaps you can even read that these blades are for 0.6 millimeter thickness copper wire. Uh, they are even interchangeable in case they are not sharp anymore. Or, um, there are different ones for different diameters, but in fact this is the universal one which uh, is supplied when you, when you buy it. And it not only works um, with 0.6 millimeter copper wire, 
but it just as well works uh, from, I would say, as far as I've tried it, from 0.3 millimeter to 1.5 millimeter. So that's basically the whole range of enameled copper wire you will uh, ever have to deal with, except if you are working with extremely heavy transformers where there are even two or three millimeter thickness uh, enameled copper wires. So anyway, how does it work? Uh, you just draw it three or four times in different position um, uh, over the copper wire and now you can see, I hope you can see it in the camera, that the first one centimeter here <clears throat> is really blank copper and it has perfectly uh, stripped uh, the, uh, the polyurethane, oh man, how difficult this is to pronounce, it has really uh, stripped the uh, coating perfectly uh, off. And uh, well, uh, when I discovered this uh, tool, I really um, uh, was really happy that I no longer had to use sandpaper. Well, that's the old method. You, you take a piece of sandpaper and you twist it uh, uh, often enough around, uh, then of course the coating also will come off. Uh, but that's really a pain in the ass. There's nothing better than this relatively cheap um, tool for getting the t coating off of enameled copper wire. So, if you know a better method or a be better tool or an alternative, then please leave a comment either in the forum or in the YouTube comments. That should be it for today. Of course, you can buy it in our online shop for a reasonable uh, price and I uh, hope you liked it and see you next time for the next part of the M show what every maker should have one bye from Kanker Labs